beautiful people welcome to another exciting episode of the tasty cube food arena family show a show that talks about cooking and healthy living your favorite show on tv and i am michelle adeswa welcome once again today on the show i have a guest with me here in the studio my guest is, a, is an actor and also she's a radio presenter she's been in the industry for a couple of years now i'm sure you've seen her in one or two movies that you must have watched but don't forget it's still the tasty Q food arena family show i'll introduce my guest to you after this break stay with me i'll be right back Secret delicious tasty meals made from nature's best ingredients. Tasty cube chicken flavor brings out the best in your everyday meal to give you that finger licking taste. Tasty cubes bring out the inviting flavor. Welcome back to the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show. If you're just tuning in, you haven't missed out on much yet. Before I went on a break, I told you that I have a guest here with me in the studio. My guest is an ex-model, now actor, and of course, she's also a radio presenter. I'm sure you want to meet my guest already. Let's meet her. My guest is Vivian Okoro. Welcome to the show, madam. Thank you very you much. You look very, very beautiful, by uh, the way. <laughs> so what's thank the secret you. to this, your ageless well, Jesus is the secret. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show once again. So Thank where you. is Vivian from? Vivian is from Ubi Tolu in Imo State. Okay, in, where in Imo Tolu? Ubi Tolu. Ubi Tolu, yes. okay. In Ubi Imo Tolu, State. in Imo State, Imo yes. State, okay, okay. So we'd like to know about your, you know, educational background. I grew up in the north. So I did my primary and secondary school mm -hmm. in the north. Okay. So then I proceeded to Namdia School University, okay. where I had my degree in mass communication. Okay. Before I came to Lagos, and I started as a model. Mm -hmm. Well, once a model is always a model. Yes. So okay. I'm not an ex-model. I'm still a okay, model. Okay, you're still in the business. Yes. Sorry about. She knows this is a cooking show, yeah. and of course we have. Some of your colleagues come on the show, mm -hmm. prepare various dishes, some do international dish, some do African dish. What is that meal that you're preparing for us today on the show? Well, today I decided to um, prepare ukwa. Ukwa. Yes. It's an Igbo delicacy. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's called breadfruit in English. Breadfruit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're making ukwa. What are the ingredients for making ukwa? Okay, for making okwa, okwa really doesn't need much ingredients. It depends oh. on individual. Oh, okay. When you have your salt, your pepper, mm -hmm. your... Tasty cube. Tasty cube. Yes. That is enough with your crayfish. Then you can also add um, um, fish, mm. whatever you choose to add. Okay. That is your choice. Okay. But okwa really doesn't need too much ingredients. Oh, okay. All right. All right, let's go to the kitchen then. You just heard from my guest. We'll be making okwa. Don't go nowhere. Still the Tasty Q Food Arena Family Show. I'll be right back after this break. Stay with me. Secret delicious tasty meals made from nature's best ingredients. Tasty cube chicken flavor brings out the best in your everyday meal to give you that finger licking taste. Tasty cubes bring out the inviting flavor. Welcome back to the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show, show that talks about cooking and healthy living. As you can see, we're in the kitchen ready for business. Anytime you see this apron, it means that we're ready for business. <laughs> and of course, I'm here with my beautiful guest, 
Vivian Okoro. Who will be preparing? What are you preparing for us again for a viewers that just tuning in? Okay, like I said before, I'll be preparing Ukwa. Ukwa, yes. Yes, called bread fruits in English. Bread fruits in English. So, so I can see a lot of things are on this table. Mm -hmm. Okay, but before you give us a round, I will have to wash our hands first. No on problem. This show, I think it's very important. To oh. So after you, I'll wash my hands. Too. Okay. So, wash your hands. Remember, guys, always wash your hands before you start cooking and after you are done cooking. Very, very important. So, okay. Looking for her. So I'm done. Okay. I'll wash my hands too because I'll be helping out in the kitchen as well. Okay, so you can give us a rundown of all the ingredients that we have on the table. I can see a lot of things here. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so I'll take you through the ingredients we're going to be using for our ukwa delicacy. So this is the ukwa itself, called breadfruit. So this is crayfish, grounded crayfish. It's optional, not everybody uses it, but I'm going to be using it today. And this is my grounded pepper I'll be using. Here is my palm oil. Usually in ukwa you don't use much palm oil, just little. Some people don't even use at all. So this is my salt to taste. This is my potash. Okwa, we use potash. Potash softens the okwa. Else you cook and cook and cook. Your okwa will not done. So this is my tasty cube powder. And this is also my tasty cube. This is the chicken flavor and this is the crayfish flavor. So you can use any of the tasty cube flavors to bring out your dish and this as a um, fish we're also going to be putting in our ukwa and um, this is called uwa that in um, English it's um, African oil bean seed so this is it we are all using we'll be, we'll be using all this for our ukwa delicacy then finally, we'll be serving our okwa with this lovely fish. Mm. I can't wait. I hope you're saliva eating already. So, let's go there. So, I turn this on. Let it sit well. Don't forget guys, our pot is already washed. I don't need to wash the okwa again, but usually it's always good you wash your okwa very well oh. because um, there are still some chaffs inside the okwa when you, oh, so you get it fresh. Them. So I, I'll be needing water right. to put in the pot. Okay. okay, thank you. So, so I just added some water in the pot. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be adding our okwa okay, as yeah, a bright yeah. fruit. Okay. Is remember is washed already. Okay. Why did you decide to prepare this version of the show today? Well, because, um, you know, I love ukwa so much. It's one of my best Igbo dishes, okay. you know. So I just want to do something okay, African. Not outside your tribe. Yeah, okay. something that is not too outside, you know. Okay. Yeah, and... <laughs> okay, so when adding your water, mm -hmm. Make sure you don't add too much water okay, in your ukwa. Yes, just slightly above. Okay. But some people prepare their ukwa, they extract the water. Oh, after boiling. After they boiling, the they water. extract the water. Okay. But today we are not going to be doing that oh, style. Okay. So we'll just prepare only the ukwa. No, okay, okay. no water for the ukwa. Okay. Yes, so let's make sure it's on the same level. Okay, so this is it. Cover. Yeah, we'll cover it, allow it to boil. Okay, so what are the health benefits of this milk, this ukwa? This ukwa has so much health benefits. Okay. You see, sometimes I, even imagine, I tend to ask myself, is it only this small ukwa yeah. that does all these things? Really? Yes. You see, um, it reduces 
high blood pressure. Wow. It's good for diabetic patients. It reduces their blood sugar. Wow. Um, it's good for ulcer patients as well. You know, um, it fights um, infections in the body, in the body wow. even on the skin. Wow. So it does a whole so lot this of is things. Medicinal. You can very have it medicinal. Very medicinal. You can have it every time. Wow. Very, very medicinal. Okay. Let me turn this on. Okay. Right. Remember, guys, you like I said, yes, I need water. Everything here is already cleaned up. So our fish also is washed, ready to go on the fire inside our pot. So. Just add a little water. Okay. Okay, that's it. So now I'll just add a little salt. Okay. To the fish. To the so fish. We'll make it tender. Yeah, so we'll make it tender. We don't need to add too much salt. You know? Right. Then um, we can add some key, um, some of our if powder. Like, yeah. Could add just a little yeah so yes Cover so it allow it to boil okay, that's so yeah. just to tenderize it um for the ukwa yeah um we're going to allow it um just boil a little okay. then we'll now add the potash, okay, potash. yes yeah, because um if you don't add the potash like i said it's will not done okay. so we'll just keep cooking and cooking and cooking and cooking it should still be hard. So this is to make it tender. This okay. is what we use. Okay. For those yeah. who do not know, potash is also known as cow. So yes, yeah. a cow. Yes. So can you remember? Okay, let's check on this first. Mm -hmm. wow. It's boiling so well already. Yes, it's boiling. So we need to allow it to boil a whole a little, little more. more. Yeah. Okay. I need to let it boil more. Cover it back. Yes, cover it, please. Okay, so now mm -hmm. we can add our account. Okay. It says preparing potash. to boil. All right. It's All preparing right. to boil. So now we can add the potash so okay. that you just boil at the same time okay. with the potash. Okay. Yes. So let's do it this way. So for those who are just who are watching us. Um, the potash that's our cow mm. comes in um, block, solid yes, form. solid form. So sometimes some people prefer to put it inside water. Okay, to dissolve it. To dissolve it so that some kind of particles, sands, or anything will not go with it. Okay. Yes, and some come in grinded okay. just like this okay. because so this one now is looking very clean and yes. so that's why we poured it that way. So. I will just stir it around, then cover it back again. So now it's going to boil until it softens. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's still boiling. We'll allow it to boil a little more All before right. we we'll turn it off. Okay. Okay, so let's check this. Let me know. Okay, thank you. So usually this, as you're boiling, mm -hmm. you're checking if it's soft. Okay, to see how soft to it is. To see how soft it is. Now it's still okay. not very soft. It has to be very soft. It has to be very moderate. soft. Okay. It has to be very soft. But okay. if you prefer it moderate soft, it's your choice. Oh, okay. But it has to be very soft. Okay. All so right. we'll see, allow it to keep boiling. Alright. Don't forget we're making ukwa. That's I great. I hope you're it. taking notes, guys. <laughs> you are okay, so I can cover this yeah, up. Yeah, cover now. this too. Okay, do mm -hmm. I turn it off or still let me boil? Uh, let's inside. allow it boil a little while, okay. then we'll right. turn it off. So now let's add okay. our fish okay. inside the ukwa. Our seasoned fish. Our seasoned fish right. inside the ukwa. Hmm. Oh my goodness, this is looking good already mm -hmm. so we are going to put in our spices and okay. everything it's time to add everything yeah now. we'll spice it up then okay. allow it boil okay for some time. okay yes for some time so now the pepper so, so we're just adding a little just a little okay. Okay. 
So I think this is enough for now. Whoever needs more can do that later. Okay. Uh -huh. So we we'll do our crayfish. All right. So you can just do maybe a spoon. Okay, you don't need too much. You don't need too much. Okay, all right. You don't need too much. If you want to put much, it's your choice too. Okay, okay so then our oil. Okay. Like I said, we don't need too much oil. Okay. Some people don't even add at oil all. at okay, all. Okay, so, oh. so we just do. So when we okay. turn, when so we turn, down yeah, down. when we turn this, then okay. we'll know if we'll add more or not. All right. Okay, so we do a little salt. So remember, we added salt, salt in our fish, fish yes. so we have to be careful so that the salt won't be too much. We'll test it, then we'll know if we'll be needing more salt. All right. Okay, so we now go for our tasty cube. So right now, I prefer to use the crayfish. So we're using just one? Yeah, we use okay. just one. Right. Yeah, this is the magic yes. to the meal. So the secret ingredient. The secret ingredient. All right. So I'm just letting out my secrets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we'll go for our uwa. Mm -hmm. We'll just go. Sprinkle on top. OK. Let's put all of them. OK, all of them. Uh -huh. Because. It's never too much. Okay. So now, we stir everything together. Hmm. Wow. Beautiful. Don't forget, guys, we are making ukwa. And we just added the last ingredient, I suppose, uh -huh. which is yoba. Yeah, which is yoba. Okay, so I think I should just taste for salt. So now, or you need me to? Oh. You can do that. Alright. What do you think? I think it's okay. That's it's okay. Yeah. So, our ukwa is ready to be eaten. We we'll just allow the water dry up a little bit. Okay. Up Cover it up a bit. Okay, so before and that is for our ukwa. I think yeah. it's time we turn this up. Yes, right? please do. Thank All right. you. Now that our ukwa is ready, don't go nowhere. So the tasting you food arena family show. Come and join us in the dining where we'll be eating this yummy food. Mm. Don't go nowhere. Stay tuned. I'll be right back after this break. There's a new secret to delicious tasty meals. Made from nature's best ingredients, Tasty Cube Chicken flavor brings out the best in your everyday meal to give you that finger-licking taste. Tasty Cubes, bring out the inviting flavor. Welcome back to the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show, show that talks about cooking and healthy living. If you've been following this show, if you're a lover of the show, you know this is the favorite part of the show for me. The part where I get to eat and dine and enjoy myself without no worries. And of course, this beautiful food you're looking at right in front of me is called ukwa and i have fish to go with it you can see how beautiful it's garnished see how beautiful it looks and of course it was prepared by my beautiful lovely guest vivian okoro herself thank you so much for this meal it looks so good i've not eaten it yet but i'm sure it's going to taste fantastic mm -hmm. going to taste divine and of course i have a guest here with me also who will be eating this meal and of course rating vivian on how well she did we have here Ifi Mwabwezi, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Yes, yes, you're welcome. And you look very beautiful, by the way, if I do say so. <laughs> so what you're going to do for me now is that you're going to eat this food, taste it, taste it very well. Mm? Then when you have done eating, then you're going to rate her on how well she did. After you must have eaten the food, of course. Do you think you can do that for me? Yeah. I think she's even ready. See the smile on her face? <laughs> okay, all right, let's eat then. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. 
so good. Let me see the fish. Hmm. So what do you think about the meal? Let me test again. Yes. Mm. What is the secret? Do you want me to tell how you're going to carry it? The secret of this okwa is tasty cubes. Wow. Yes. Mm. Tasty cube seasoning. It comes in different flavors. Crayfish, chicken, beef. I actually use the um, crayfish flavor for this food. Yes. Wow. Yes. I will switch on to Tasty. You should. Please. Yes. I would like to use the crayfish and the chicken. chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So use only tasty cube. So if you're going to beta now, on a scale of one to hundred, with all these things you just mentioned and said, eh? And this meal, of course, that you just tasted. What is that? This is I'm giving you ninety-eight percent. Ah. Woo Wow, it Yay! tastes great, fantastic. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Viewers at home, you just heard from my guest. Yes, you should have Tasty Cube in your kitchen. If you don't have, I wonder what you've been cooking with. Quickly go to any store near you and get Tasty Cube. That's the only way your meals are assured and secured. You will have the smile on your face when you are eating. So go get yourself a pack of Tasty Cube and you'll be happy. Don't worry, trust me you're covered don't forget it's still the tasty new food arena family show there's still a lot to unpack on the show there's so much content coming up you don't want to miss any of this don't change that i'll be right back after this break stay with me fried rice and porridge rice and steam porridge all oh, vegetable for you porridge like vegetable and drop all pro Moi, moi. The Almighty Allah continue to bless your country. God bless you, Tasty Cube. Thank you very much. You go higher. you know. Thanks to Tasty Cube. Thank you to Tasty Cube. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you today and God is going to bless them. I say big thanks to the company. The company will be going up with Jesus' name. There's a new secret to delicious tasty meals. Made from nature's best ingredients, Tasty Cube Chicken Flavor brings out the best in your everyday meal to give you that finger licking taste. Tasty Cubes bring out the inviting flavor. Welcome back to the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show. Ah, you agree with me that that meal was, it was sumptuous. It was. Yeah, very. <laughs> It was so good. Yes, I feel relaxed now and happy. Don't forget to the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show. And this is the part whereby I show appreciation to my guests for coming on the show. I say thank you. You cannot come on the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show and leave empty and dead. No, it's not done on this show. We like to, you know, appreciate our fans for coming. So when next we invite them, they oblige us. So on behalf of Tasty Cube Nigeria, we present you this box of seasoning. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, so you can prepare. Many food for yourself and your friends. It doesn't end there. We have this smartphone for you as well. Oh my God. And of course, this one to go with. What do you say to Tasty Cube Nigeria for the gift? Wow, wow, wow. Tasty Cube Nigeria. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been using Tasty Cube alone, but now me, my friends, and family, everybody, Tasty cube. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Also, my guest is not left out as well. Madam, you also have a gift from us. We have the smartphone for you. Wow. We say thank you for coming on the show. And we have this bag for you as well, containing some of our seasoning cubes and, of course, some items to go to your family. Mm. What do you say to Tasty Cube Nigeria? Wow. So, so, so happy. 
so happy to be here with you. Thank you, Thirsty Cube Nigeria. I appreciate you. I'm going to tell my family members, my friends, to switch on to Thirsty Cube. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget to the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show. Sadly, this is the end of today's segment of the Tasty Cube Food Arena Family Show. But don't forget, you can watch me same time, same station next week do not forget and of course in case you have any inquiries you like to make about any of our products and how to get them all you have to do is follow us on any of the social media handles showing on your screen right now the handle to follow is at tasty cube nigeria you can follow us on facebook twitter and of course on instagram and in case you like to follow my beautiful self on instagram my handle is at michelle adeswa the most important information of all you see those weekly questions that we ask you all you have to do is answer them correctly and if by chance you're lucky you're one of those lucky people that we pick you get to be on the show with me and any of the guests that i'm having for that day yes you get to dine with me so all you have to do is answer the questions correctly and you get a chance to be on the show now we see the tasty gift food arena family show don't forget eat ld stay ld till we meet again have a beautiful day and take care of your beautiful self i love you bye for now